This is the Random 30. <laughs> Order. With Mikey. It's days like this that you feel so lucky when you get to interview an incredible artist like this, Ava Max. She's had the hit single Sweet But Psycho, Drop the new one, So Am I. We're going to talk about that. She's on the show right now. Ava Max, how are you? I'm good. How are you? I am so good, thank you. Thanks for the chat. Um, of course. Now, <laughs> this is the first time you're in Australia, is it? Um, Yes. I have been here for five days and yeah. I'm in Brisbane right now and uh, it's just so beautiful. And what are you thinking of our hospitality? Like, are you going to come back soon because we're amazing or or what are your thoughts on our country? I am. I am going to come back. I'm actually mad at myself for not coming earlier, checking out Australia. Well, we want you to come back and we need you to come back very soon. Yes. Oh, my God. We're definitely planning a tour, so I'm excited. Great. Now, I want to talk about your, your music, of course, because I'm a huge fan, but I've got something interesting. I've heard something that I want you to clarify for me. Your hairstyle, does it have something to do with a baking story or or something with food? Is there a story behind that? Well, it, it's pretty funny, actually. My haircut um, happened on accident. Like, I was just cutting different hair and, like, my hair and then wigs. And then all of a sudden, I cut my hair one side and I pretty much kept it. It was because yeah. I ran downstairs to check on my cookies. I was baking <laughs> and I can't bake or cook at all. And I was like, damn it. So when I come up upstairs to the bathroom, I notice yeah. my hair and I'm like, oh, this is cool. And then I started wearing it and started getting weird looks. And I'm like, yeah. okay, this is it. There <laughs> so is just, nothing so weird. It. <laughs> it's brilliant. It's so Isn't good. That hilarious? Yeah. But the fact that it matches up with a cooking yeah. story, it's kind of, here's my hairstyle because of my cookies. It's just, it's the best story ever. Now, you're family. Oh my god, how funny. <laughs> yeah. Now, your family, are they <laughs> musical? Have you grown up with a musical family? Um, uh, yes. My, both my uncles were in bands, my yeah. mom sang. It's a whole shebang. Like, the whole family uh, is in music, yeah. Oh, that is so good. Now, Let's talk about it. That global hit, Sweet But Psycho, OMG, it is just a banger. <laughs> Tell me everything about it because it Thank is so you. catchy. I can't stop singing it. My little fella can't stop singing it. We turn it up in the car. Tell me mm, everything about thank it. Thank you. Well, Psycho is redefined in the song. It's about being strong, opinionated, and passionate. So if you're being called Psycho, I would say, say thank you because it's kind of a compliment. You actually have... A voice, and yeah. I believe that. So it's really about a girl who's misunderstood. And as in, in this particular instance, it's a girl, but it could be a guy or a girl. Um, but yeah, so everyone has different sides to them, and I really wanted to show that. And is that the story about somebody that you know, or is it just a story in general? I think in every relationship, yeah. we all go through ups and downs, and, yeah, and, and we get called sweet but psycho, you know? Yeah. So I'm just, I really wanted to write a song about that. Is, is it a surprise in a... I mean, it's always a surprise on how, how a song would go, I assume, but is it a surprise on being a hit but being so catchy and how the world has taken to that song? Like, how how has that affected you and your career and moving forward? Um, well, I never thought I'd be in this position that I got to, to get to travel the world and see the world and, and really just, like, connect with my fans on so many different levels. So I never thought... I would have a song be this big, but yeah. here we are, and I'm so grateful. I'm so eternally grateful, and I can't wait for people to hear more music. Well, well, speaking of more music, the latest single, So Am I, another one. I think it's going to go the same as Sweet But Psycho. Uh, tell me about that. Who, who, what is that about? So, so Am I is really for everybody, misfits, outcasts, everyone who doesn't want to fit into the format that society wants to put you in. I believe that we don't need to be conformed into this, like, box that everyone wants to put us in. I think it's important for people to embrace where they come from and who they are. And yeah. this, is what this song really is about. And is that about all your music that you've written? Like you find inspirations from um, not just personally, but outside as well? Or you or you try and focus to what's happening on the outside and get the inspiration from there? Yes, of course. All my inspiration comes from experience or maybe an experience I had or an experience I've seen. But I do believe that um, it's just important to give off a positive message. And what about an album? Are we are we planning an album 2019 or are we going to wait a little bit longer? Um, the album actually is going to come later this year for sure. Yeah. Um, I'm really excited actually 
to release it because there's so many more pop and pandemic records on the album. So yeah. I just can't wait for everyone to hear it because there's only really two, three songs out of mine. So I just want people to see the whole story. And how many songs do you have together, like, for the album? Because I would assume you'd have, you know, normally a 12, 15 tracker, but I would assume you'd have a lot more songs that you've written and put together for the album. How many do you have for it? Oh, my God, yeah. I mean, it's funny. We've written over 100 songs wow. over the past few years. But um, the best the best songs are going on the album and about 15 songs now. It's really hard to put them down. And there's no features. It's just really my story. Yeah, right. How how hard is it to to narrow it down from you know your your hundred or over a hundred to the to the fifteen? What what are you looking for to get those fifteen songs? What what is that little that little hint? Um, I think we just uh, my team and I would just agree that yeah. this is like a great record. But also like it comes also for me. Like if I if I really believe in a song, it has to go on the album. Like it's just I have full. Um, say on what goes and so it's really just me <laughs> oh sweet now you mentioned that you're going to come back um, tour what's what's the plans there will we, we see a national tour maybe this year hopefully hopefully later this year we are planning a headline tour across yeah. the world so we are so excited are you doing festivals or are you just going to do your, your own tour and, and, and when you come back I think we're going to just do uh, we're all working very hard um to just create a tour, yeah, headline tour. Fantastic. Headline. That is so yeah. awesome. Well, Ava Max, <laughs> your your single, Sweet But Psycho. Love it. So am I. Love it. It's ticking already. Thank the box you. is already. I am I'm like kind of girl fanning right now at the moment, to be honest. Uh, I love you. Wow. You're just awesome. <laughs> uh, thank you so much for joining oh us. Oh, my God, I love your energy. Thank you. You are welcome. We'd love thank to meet you. up one day when you come back to Australia. 100%. Let's do it. <laughs> Ava Max, thanks so much for joining us on The Random 30. Thank you. This is the Random 30. <laughs> the Countdown. In no particular order. With Mikey.